Okay guys, a lot of people have been asking for a tutorial on this thing here, Red Snow 2 1.0, not the official, um, but made by Short Person, and um, he's done a pretty good job of it, I mean, it's still a little bit buggy, it's just, you can't do it if you know what you're doing. Um, so this is for, this tutorial is actually for step 2 and onwards, and I'm not going to go through step 1 because that's basically just simple trial and error. I mean, all I can say is when you're renaming the uh, iPod software file, you just try different different names, different upper and lower cases. To if you get errors saying that you can't find the iPod software, just do that and make sure you have the uh, lib l USB. I think that's what's called installed. That's the best advice I can give you. So anyway, we'll move on. I close this one down because I've got two open for some reason. Right, we'll go into the core of Red Snow Light and click on the uh, exe and you want to click 2 for jailbreak preparation so we'll click 2, press enter and it's getting ready to do this so we'll press any key continue so press my key it says go right so I'm actually currently holding down the home and the sleep button now the best thing I can do now is just to listen to your computer I mean I know the numbers are counting down along here but if your computer isn't in sync with the numbers and it's obviously not going to work so listen to your chimes you'll know what I mean when uh, you hear it happening so it's home and don't let go home until you actually do hear the chime uh, indicating that the USB device is plugged in and once you've done that then let go of home and then it says press any key to continue so hopefully now your iPod will be in DFU mode if you do see the little cable with the iTunes symbol then that's not that's restore mode you want to start this process again um, so we'll press any key and it's uploading the files it needs to do so there we go, successfully uploaded file, executing it closing the USB connection, replug the iPod okay, so this is where the iPod should go right now, obviously you can't see this because you've just got my screen but I will tell you, so um, I'm unplugging my iPod now this is my computer, it's gone off, plug it back in yep, and it's white, I wait for the chain that's what people have been going wrong, they've tried to enter as soon as they see the white screen, but they need to get a chime. Now you press enter. There we go, that's worked. And you know it's worked because you'll get the recovery symbol, iPhone, right? a little dollar sign. Uh, back to the readme file, which is pretty much your Bible for jailbreaking. You know, what have I opened? I've opened... Oh no, iTunes is open now, indicating that it is in recovery mode. I mean, um, DF mode, DFU mode. And then um, this code here, this is what we want, the arm7 underscore go. And we're not going to type this, we're going to copy it. Control C. Just to make sure there's no room for errors. And obviously in command prompt, if you don't know by now, you can't press Control and V to paste. You have to right click, press paste, press enter. There we go again, let's come up, recovery, iPhone, symbol, dollar sign, or whatever you want to call it. Highlight the next line, Control C for copy, right click and paste the next part, press enter again, there we go, and now the last part of it, you want to press Control and C, brings up the terminate option, you press no, or N, press enter, ok now you go, so now you're ready to go in iTunes and restore your previously created IPSU file, now this is step one, you will have created your. It's called. I think in uh, this uh, this tutorial, it's called. Yep, it's called Jailbroken FW. So let's go in iTunes. Press Shift, hold it down, and click Restore. I am back after restoring to the Jailbroken firmware. And I did get an error saying USB device not recognized. Um, and if this happens, all I can say is just keep trying to unplug it and putting it back into DFU mode again. Just I think it gives you this error because it doesn't fully go into DFU mode, so I've got it again and I've yeah, I'm back into DFU mode because you can see that. It's giving me the um the uh, restore sort of uh, screen here where it doesn't know your capacity and whatnot. Um and don't think that the iPod's bricked if this happens. I don't think there is actually any way of breaking an iPod by jailbreaking. Not that anyone's found out yet, anyway. And um, so we've done that. We'll go back on to step three now, then. 
to play with the core redstone light to open it up. Step three, press number three, press enter. Telling you to get ready. Press A key to continue. And we'll do that. Right. Again, holding the home and the seat button. There's a new computer. In fact, if your iPod's already in DFE mode at this point, you can skip this. You don't have to do all this because it's obviously already in DFE mode. That's just what happened then. Release the uh, power button. You should hear the chimes on your computer indicating that it is back into DFU mode. Um, and again, make sure that there isn't a cable and an iTunes symbol that's restore mode. You want to do the step again if that happens. But any key to continue. So it's uploading the files. Here it says replug your iPod and press enter when it turns light. So again, we'll unplug it. Listen to the chime. Pull it back in. And there we go, it's gone white, with the chime. Make sure if the chime realize it won't work. Press enter. And then it's closing the USB connection. There we go, back into recovery. Now open up your readme, the Bible. Again, copy and paste these commands, arm seven go. You're about to do this, you right click, press paste, enter. Second one, control C, right click, press paste, enter. I don't know what that is, brought up a weird thing, okay. Um, uh, where were we? Oh, here we are. And, and it tells you to press Ctrl C, and it says press N. Enter that. And it says press any key to continue, press any key, double run files again. And then all you've got to do is type in GO for go, press enter. Now it's rebooting your iPod. You should see the Apple sign come up. And if it's happening, then you have successfully jailbroken it. And you can happily close all this down.